Jesus. Hello. Welcome, welcome. All right, not much I can do about lighting, unfortunately. So how is everyone's day today? Great. My patience is waiting, is this entertaining? Bones? Ay, ay, ay. Got this feeling, yeah, you know. All right. <laughs> when I'm losing control. Yes, we may have bones. Keisha? Yep. Uh, wait, um, I want to uh, show you something. Yeah, good. I'm, I made a fighting game. Oh. It took two weeks. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Everyone said, like, yeah, I need props, more props, more props. And, and when I put more props, it, it's, um, it's like, well, it's like lagging and like bug, mm -hmm. you know, has bug. Huh. Yeah, so I'm I going to have to. to... Like, yeah, I decided to, like, just, like, delete one of these and it's. Not kind of bitter, but yeah, it's um, it's still have bug. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is an interesting trade off between like how powerful your engine is and how much you can really do in game creation, right? Like theoretically, you can make a you know a completely realistic game, but it would take an hour to load. Um, but yeah, that is what I like about Unity, um, using more kind of powerful system. You can um, oh, at least I control like... more about like how laggy your game becomes. I have oh, Unity, I'm... but I cannot use it. I don't know how to use it. I don't even know how to open code in Unity. Hmm. Um, yeah, uh, Lumet, we're not using Unity today. I'm thinking, um, okay, this will be the last class of this month. Because, oh, Tisha. Um, yeah. I do have Unity. All right. Um, but yeah, this will be the last class of this month because Christmas and New Year's is coming up. So, um, and like if next class will be on like Christmas Eve and stuff, so I don't want to interfere with anyone there. Um, and then in January, we're starting up again, thinking to, cause like everyone is already good at processing JS. Like there's not a ton more to teach there. Um, everyone's getting pretty good at it. I'm thinking of going to Unity. I know we'll probably cut out a few people, unfortunately, cause some people are like it on tablets, but, um, hopefully they can do their parents' computer or something. But yeah, Lumat, we're doing uh, same thing as always today. Um, just something I'm thinking in general. Because Unity is a lot of fun. Um, and like, you have technically less control than you do with processing JS. <laughs> Like, there's, there's so much more that you can do so much easier like collisions it's so much easier you don't have to write a code for every collision
Hello, teacher Quinn. Yep. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, here, let me. All right, I hope the link worked correctly. I think I've changed it. All right, we have a few minutes here. Um, and today we're gonna be continuing, or actually finishing, hopefully, the Flappy Bird game. Um, actually, there's not much, many lines of code we need to have it all done. Um, from there, infinite stuff you can add but I believe it's only like seven lines of code and we're done. They're complicated lines to be fair. But yeah. Mr. P. All right, we'll go ahead and begin now. Um, I'm a little worried, um, but we're gonna jump on right after we begin, but we will take the risk. All right, let me, ba -da -bum. okay. Link in chat as always. There we go. Are we using the same code? Yes. Same code as last week. All right. And then we'll go to my repls. Teacher, so I did my uh, homework. It looks exactly like yours. I also was playing your fluffy bird. Uh, yeah. So to our week today, we're going to make like infinite pipey. Yes. Yeah. Infinite we're, pipe. Yeah, we're gonna make the pipes and at least. Are we are we making the player die when we touch the pipe? Yes. Yeah. We make uh infinite. Also, we're what about make, the top pipe? The pipe on the top. Yeah, we're also gonna do that. We're gonna make the pipe the loop. We're gonna make a top pipe so you can have a little gap to fly between. And we're gonna make it so you die. And more importantly, when you touch a pipe, you not only die, but you also reset the pipe because they start back from the beginning. Uh, do you know that uh, Flappy Bird ends with one, 999 pipes? Huh, makes sense. Um, yeah, Katie, you can unmute. Um, so you have your hand raised. Can I share my screen because I just, logged into Replit and this something just popped on my screen. It says the new workspace. Oh yeah. Um there should be like an 
X on the top right, you can click to just take it off. Okay. Replit likes to like advertise a new thing they're making. All right, so my Replit, you should see your Replit if you named it right here. Um, if not, you can go to unnamed, just put a folder here. I'm very zoomed in. There we go, unnamed. And it should be the first one you see. Otherwise, it should be the, the one here that you've named. All right, and here is the code from last week. Um, we have the player coordinates. Okay, people are jumping in here. Um, I'll go ahead and begin to explain code. I won't write any code for a couple of minutes. Yeah, we have the player coordinates. We have a pipe lift array. We then do what's called populating, which means we have some code to add a bunch of numbers to pipe lift array. Um, in this case, man, this code is really, oh, it is, it, it actually does have a point because we're using random numbers here, but we're only Jesus. adding three things. We're adding three objects to the pipe list array. And the three objects are um, X and Y. The object has two variables, X and Y. X will always just be like 200, 400, 600. And the Y will be Check a random in. number between one and 300. Yeah, Can you talk to me? I want to know how to save because I don't have my bird game now because I didn't save. I don't know how to save. Yeah. Um, let me go back here. Replay will always save your code, which is nice. Um, but I don't see my bird game. Yeah. If you go to if you go to unnamed, so go my repos and then unnamed. Okay. Click on unnamed. It should be the first one you see, unless you've used Replit again since last class. Um, but it should be the first one you see here. Oh, thank you. Welcome. But, but, but at left, I don't see where's my code. Um, hmm. And you click on the first one you saw on uh, unnamed? Yeah, it has only script.js, but another thing I don't see. Share your screen for me real quick. If you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all correct. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I think I'll here, let me show you here. That's all correct. That's all you need. Um, the sidebar is just hidden right now. That's all that's happened. Um, let me share my screen. Where am I? All right, yeah, let me go to Flappy Bird. Oh, I am now on the I right I can't screen. see anything. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if you see this little button on the top left here, this is what opens up a new like sidebar. So you see your like index and stuff. You don't need all this because you're only using the JavaScript part, but the little button on the top left will open your sidebar. All right. Um, and to notice Katie um, isn't caught Teacher, I here. want I want to have a lot of green thing. All right, yeah, we're doing that uh, this class. And um, to anyone who needs it, here's the link to my replet. And also here's the entire code. Um, I'll go ahead and explain everything we've done so far here. So again, here is a pipe lift array. Here's a for loop that adds three objects to the pipe or the pipe lift. Um, those three objects are the three pipes that we currently have. If I run it, we see three pipes go through the screen here. Um, 
And the idea is that it will add three pipe objects. Um, each object will have a X and a Y. Again, an object is like a variable that contains more variables. So this pipe object we're creating here has two variables, X and Y. The X will always be um, either 200, 400, 600, because that's how we set up our for loop. And the Y will always be a ran random number between 100 and 300. And we just push that object into the pipe list. This is called populating. It's where you kind of like, not really dynamically, you just put code to add um, numbers and stuff to a array. And then down here, we have our move function, we have a little player. We have make pipes, which will go through the pipe list array. You see here, let i equal zero, i less than pipe list dot length. And then it will make a pipe using the numbers we have from that object. So pipe list i will be the, the object of the first pipe. Dot x will be the x variable in that object up here. Let pipe, let me zoom in, x. And then pipe list y, also set a little height. And then Is there the a kind of way to make it like pod four? Uh, say again? I found a way to make it spawn four. Hmm. Yeah, um, technically you can actually spawn a bunch more just by setting i to be a different number. Like if, if I didn't want to loop them, I, I, I could put it's like 10,000. Okay, and then... now, now there's like multiple. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now yeah, so... I'm... Okay, now, now I, I didn't count how many pipes there were, but there's a lot. Yeah, for now though, keep it at 6,000 just because, um, or maybe keep the core normal, uh, no, because we're doing some big, a big change right here. And we're going to just be looping the pipe. In fact, I'd say we have enough people here. Um, again, in the code or in the chat, we have my link to the replit and the current code. And let's I, go I ahead and begin coding. I was playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> so many. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, so in the make pipes function, this is the most important function we have. Let's go down there inside the for loop, make a couple new lines here just after like the code we have in the for loop, but make sure you're writing still inside the for loop. You have two little right curly braces down here and we'll do if, Left parenthesis, um, where's my reference code? My reference code is too zoomed in. Okay. So if left parenthesis, tower list, oh, I spelled that wrong, pipe list, just like the variable up here, pipe, P-I-P-E, capital L-I-F-T, pipe list, and then left square bracket i. So this would be the, um, in the first loop of the for loop, this would be zero, then be one, then two, then three. So pipe list i, then outside the square braces, do dot x. And then we'll do less than sign and then negative 50 or minus 50. So pipe list i dot x is less than negative 50. If I were to like read it out. And then um, outside the parentheses, let's curly brace enter. And that is our if statement. All this is saying is if the current pipe, which you see right here, I just moved minus two, right? I moved it two to the left. Um, if the current pipe is at negative 50 or less than negative 50, so like it's already past zero, which is the left side of the screen, it's already out of the screen and like further out, like 50 pixels already 
out of the way. Then what we are going to do is inside the curly braces, we will say pipe lift. Again, P I P E capital L I F T. It's pipe away lift. from me, please. Okay. And then left square brace. I outside the square braces. Um, me. Dot X equal sign and then 600 semicolon. There we go. This is the code right here. Pipe list, left curly brace I outside the, the left, sorry, not left curly brace, left square brace. Um, I outside the square braces dot X equal sign 600 semicolon at the end. And what this would do is again, say if the pipe is already like way outside the screen, then bring it back to 600, which is like outside the screen but on the right side. Bring it back to its starting point, basically. That way it can begin coming back into the left, into the screen again, then out, then come back to the right side. So it'll keep just looping that pipe. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if I write it right now, there's a little more code to write, but this works. You can see here, it array is going to start looping. And um, have we done anything wrong here? Why is it doubling? That definitely shouldn't be happening. What have I done wrong? Oh dear. Pizza, I want to know where's that V, V that V. It doesn't work. It can you send, teacher, but mine is working okay. Teacher, can yep. you send uh, eight, 58 and 59 to me? Yeah. Um, it doesn't work. Also, why is it awkward tripling? Yeah, why is it awkward something has gone wrong. Um, but mine I've, is okay. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I can be it. I have done something Mine's very okay. wrong. Nothing weird happening. Really? Yeah, yes. something's what, happening to mine. What should be I'm happening is it should just be looping. Yeah, mine has I, way I too many. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, now it works. Yeah, okay, I'm going to. to but that teacher, the <laughs> longer your your rap will go, the more some. Um, yeah, the I'm more, not the more that you duplicate. I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong here. So don't take what I've done to heart just yet. Give me one moment to find out what I've done wrong. It's not that bad of code right now, but like it's definitely not supposed to be doing this. This is a very hard flappy bird level. Just I mean, like, if you play this flappy bird level, you could just like stay at the top and you won't yeah. die. Because there's no top pipe. But if there's a pop top pipe and this is happening, it would like how it would be like impossible. Yeah, I'm trying it. Teacher. Yep. Right now, that's that's right. Right. Can I share my screen? Uh -huh. landscape. All right. Um, if actually before I debug anything, I need to debug my own code first. So um, your, your, it, it's still multiplicating into millions and millions. Actually, I'm going to call upon you guys. Is any of your code working? Me, me, um, me, me. My code's working. My code's working. All right, I'm going to stop my share. My code's not working. My code's not working. And if your code's working, working, if your code's my working, share your screen. Because I want to know why I've been wrong here. <laughs> And make sure the pipes do need to be looping, by the way. So let me see this. Us. Oh, it's looping. Okay. All right. Do you mind um, scrolling down for me here? Who is this? Uh, Mr. Pepper. Okay. Now, Pepper, why is yours so short and mine so tall? It should just be random. Pipe with dot x equals 600 less than negative 50. I, I thought I said 
Now, why is your code word? I think you're supposed isn't. to do 50 instead of negative 50. Uh, no, Mr. Pepper here is doing uh, negative 50. So, like, the fact that why the pipes is duplicating because we're doing Oh, negative 50. I know I did wrong. I found it. Peter, I, I want to... I want to get, like, it will get some pipes. All right. Um, give me one moment here. I see a million here. pipes on, on your screen. Yeah. Um, that million. should be happening. I figured it out. I accidentally put my four loop here to 6,000 instead of 600. And that is the problem. All right. Now it's working. So our code should be working now. Um, just don't do what I did accidentally before my, class started. Mine is 2 million. My code is 2 million. Yeah, if you loop and also make it really long, then um, you get really weird stuff happening. So now it should all be working. Mine is two million, and then because it's so oh, no. much, my like Jeffy. gray box can really stop working. Yeah, if you're gonna make it really big, make sure to also put this number here to be really big, the same number on the pipe list. X equals six hundred. Mommy, I changed the, my meeting name from Loom M into Mr. P. All right. And someone copied that idea and turned it to Mr. A. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead here. Um, how much time do we have? <laughs> it's a pretty important part. I'm going to stop my share for a second. If you have code why? that isn't working, share it for you. Teacher, well, I, I was actually sending it in chat test. because I can't share my screen like always. All right. Teacher, why I I touch the green thing and why I don't get in first one? Yeah, because um, we haven't to three. we haven't made like any kind of um dying We're system yet. I got to like fall into the ground. Why is my pipe so hot? Uh, okay, but you don't. All right, let me. Anyway, I'm, so I'm gonna mute you a little bit here. Um, our um, Alan Haru, code looks good. Yep. Um, if anyone has a problem, they share your screen. All right, I think everyone's good. All right, uh, yeah. Bye. I I can't share my screen. I'm a, I'm oh, right. to send it in chat. Okay. Let me. No, it doesn't work. I'm on sharing my screen. It's not working. I can't. Hmm. Share and I also can't uh, paste it in chat. Um, what is the problem right now? Are you like getting a gray box? Yeah, the gray box is gone. Hmm. It's not even a four hundred by four hundred anymore. Right, right. Um, try just paste. Uh, try copy pasting a small bit of your code, like just your new code. Because usually that works for me. Um, wait, I've had a lot of trouble with Zoom copy pasting too. How's it going? All right. Um, no, I am. Let's the code. Hmm. Um. If you can, here I'm going to go ahead and move for a little bit. Try putting your um, maybe like your replit link on. That might work. Uh, like copy pasting your replit link. Um, but if that yeah. doesn't work, go ahead and follow messaging for a little bit, and I'll find a way to help you out. 
Oh, what? Oh, nine, actually, that kind of makes sense. Pizza, it's nine seconds. I, I, I uploaded my link. All right. Oh, that, that works. Okay. Nine minutes, not nine seconds. Nine yes. minutes. That should be a decent amount of time. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, oh, shoot, JP. Um, your um, thing doesn't uh, have a oh, latest. Oh, wait, I, of... I got it now. Mine, mine doesn't oh, work okay. because I write it outside the right make type function all right so i'm going to go ahead and speed run the rest of this let's go um so yeah let's go ahead here um we now have infinite scrolling let's go ahead and make the second um pipe which is right after this rect right here on line mine's 54 or you're probably a different line but this is rect right here Go ahead and make a new line and say, um, you say, where am I here? Okay. Rect, R E C T, left parenthesis, pipe list, oh, P I P E, capital L I F T, left square bracket. Square brace, not sure. Left so left square low guy. Um I outside the square braces dot x. So again, the x would be in the same position as the bottom pipe. Then comma space and then uh, pipe. I, I can't follow in time. Oh yeah. Um this is all the code we have right here. Is just right after the little rectangle, just a rect, left parenthesis, then pipe list, square brace, I, out of square braces, dot x, just like we did up here. Teacher, can you wait for me? I'm really yeah. left behind. Yeah, good. Here, I'll. This is unfinished code right here, but go ahead. This is the only code that we have written. It's the exact same thing as up here. Let me, am I not? I feel like I'm not zoomed in enough. All right. So, and then off the comma, space, hyphen. Capital L list, P I P, capital L I S T, pipe list, left parenthesis, I, outside parenthesis, outside, sorry, outside square braces, dot Y, and then minus 350, minus 350. So we're saying wherever um, pipe list Y is, so same. Y as our current pipe, our bottom pipe as well, just a minus so 350, glitching. like way up. Are you sure it's so glitchy? So can I run it? Uh, not yet. It would not work right now if you if you run it. Um, Teacher, mine is yeah. not working. It shouldn't work right now because if you notice, wrapped it requires four like uh numbers to put I, in. I just I I added four. Yeah. Um. Real quick. Now, the next the two parts we need is comma space, 50, same width as our other pipes, and then comma space, four, uh, no wait, it's comma space, and then 200, and make sure to put a semicolon at the end. And there you go. It's not perfect. Um, Thing we might have to fine tune it, but we do Teacher. now have a top pipe. Yep. Teacher. Uh, five, five minutes. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. How fast? <laughs> we might have to leave and come back, but for now, I will cut it close. All right. So that is the line and go ahead give me a done in chat when you're done and you can see 
the top little pipe. Um, Teacher, it's not working. Can I share my screen? It's not working. Um, all right. Give me um, 20 seconds to my have uh, a code here. Again. My gray box is a goner. Oh, no. All right. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a time extension here. Um, all right. Can I share my so, why some of the uh, why some of the the up upper pipe disappeared? Some of um, them are missing. Yeah, that could be because the pipe is a little too high. We'll fine tune it this a little bit, but for now, it's like close enough. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop this video and then everyone can jump back on. No! Um, Mr. Pepper. This meeting? Um, oh, hmm, that's weird. Why is that happening? No in line. Where was that line? Oh, um, line 55. Um, on pipe list Y, there should be an E after that second P. You have PIP. Yeah, right there. That should do it. All right. <clears throat> and so I'm going to um, end the video, but make sure to no. come back on to yeah. see the finale of building a uh, flyby bird. All right. Yeah.